Hi Aries, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your monthly money and career tarot reading for the month of May 2022. Thank you so much for joining me and I do want to remind you as always this is general for the month so just take what resonates and as well thank you in advance for your likes, comments and subscriptions if you haven't done so already. Join this Aries tribe and uh, to book a personal reading with myself everything you need is down below in the description box just reach out via email and i'll definitely get that started for you and as well um i do feel the need to say before i pressed record to begin your reading i was uh, tapping into your energy and i started just checking myself out in a very um uh, a very confident manner in the camera anyways so you're going to be feeling yourself throughout the month. Good for you. Um, they're mentioning self-care. Keep taking care of yourself or get back to it. The overall message I channeled for you for your money and career, of course, for the month of May. Beyond impressive, leading your way to victory. Beyond impressive, leading your way to victory. Absolutely. And let's, sorry, that was a bit odd. We're going to begin by pulling a couple messages from the Soul's Journey deck. And then we'll pull from the Light Seers deck, the Tarot deck, to further speak upon your month. Uh, peace and discipline. In a very peaceful manner, I feel as if you're pushed to recognize where you need to discipline oneself. You could even find that you're being a leader in a situation, even if you're not in a managerial position, and therefore having to discipline others. Keep things in order in one way, shape, or form while maintaining a level of peace. But make sure you're not stripping away your own inner peace um, all the meanwhile, okay? Four Aries for this upcoming month. Okay, we have one on the board. They're saying very royal as I'm looking at a purple card. Four Aries. Okay. Bear with me for Aries. All right, I'm gonna go with this one. I need to use your imagination and manifest what you desire at this time. These three feel accurate. Um, you could be fearing uh, your future turning out like your past. Try not to compare. Your, futures, your future, excuse me, is 10 times brighter than what you've experienced up until this point. They're saying there's a lot ahead for you. Trust, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. It's a month where I got the message that you're getting more in tune before um, throughout the month at certain points, you're getting more in tune with what makes you feel passionate, what you're meant to achieve in this lifetime, what lights you up as an Aries and makes you feel more confident about your path individually. But I feel like in the midst of all of which you're being pushed to trust your intuition more so, right? To trust that you have the answers within. If not, you can pair that, you know, side by side with your spirit guides right your spiritual guidance and just uh, move forward in a very confident manner there are moments where you check yourself out in the mirror or you just uh, come up with an idea or you're given a thought by spirit there's just moments throughout the month of may where you're reminded how much you have to offer with the confidence you should be, be exuding excuse me even if you struggle from time to time but how strong you are when it comes to your mind your efforts your skill sets and most importantly your intuition so trust it okay and then we have happiness happiness there you may feel like you feel your mind excuse me is a bit of a whirlwind at certain points throughout the month where uh, things are a bit of a struggle in that sense but it, it's all about simplifying it and approaching things uh, with a level of confidence once again which shouldn't be difficult for you uh, therefore achieving that victory um, by your lonesome or just in a very leadership manner, guiding oneself and potentially other people towards a lot of greatness. But all the meanwhile needing to prioritize your happiness and recognize that you deserve to be happy along this quest uh, to financial freedom, uh, stability, career success, if you will. You're going to find that your work, even if you don't expect it, will make you uh, pretty damn happy throughout the month. Some obviously more than others, but I find that you will find that throughout the month, your uh, work heals you to an extent or just makes you feel good about oneself, right? As you impress people and just are seen in a very high honor kind of light, okay? And then we have balance, which is the second of the, um, two out of the three are purple. I feel the need to point out royalty, spirituality, being a true focus 
when it comes to your energy and your way of being throughout the month and potentially your individual path. But balance talking about, uh, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. A push to not judge others or to compare one's path to others, okay? Um, feeling as if you may see people on a similar kind of path or doing a similar kind of uh, work and therefore it could be easy to compare. Try not to. Um, viewing your work of art, your work in general, your career, as or even your life as a whole, as a mandala, building it from the center out and seeing, taking a step back and seeing how much you've achieved and therefore having a realistic um, view on things and approach moving forward, but a balanced one all the meanwhile. To balance oneself out and therefore you can take a healthy approach towards the victory you so deserve at this point along your path. Beautiful. Let's continue and pull from the Light Sears deck. You may feel like at certain points of the month, things feel a bit heavy, a bit bland, therefore being pushed to ask oneself, what do I want, what do I want to invest in, right? Uh, or what kind of job do I want to replace this one with? Or could I get a, a side gig to bring in more money and feel more fulfilled? Or just how do I want to go about my future? I feel like you're being pushed to ask important questions in order to keep moving forward. But there is something you've been working on building, getting off the ground that needs to be continuously watered for one reason or another. You'll find that it brings you a lot of success uh, in your near future. For Aries. Flying out, we have the Knight of Swords. There could be certain points in the month where you just want to run away from work to do what you have to do, or you may find that travel is on your mind. Wanting to travel the world, wanting to experience more cultures, wanting to run towards a level of happiness, however that pertains to you. This being at the center of the reading, you could find that you just want to charge towards a new beginning, whether that's a financial investment, a new job, or just both. It could feel as if you just desire a lot of new, not wanting things to feel stale in any way, shape, or form, as um, you just potentially could at certain points let your past creep in, and therefore allowing that to cloud your vision of your bright future. But the Three of Pentacles feeling quite relevant as I just move that really odd. Um, you're going to see people noticing you for your balanced approach, for your hard work and effort, for your skill sets. Interviewing will come as an easy process for you, Aries, because you just are a showstopper, somebody who walks into the room and commands that level of leadership attention, whether that's the kind of position you're looking to acquire or not. But the need to, in the midst of all of which throughout the month, whether you're looking for a new job or you're just, you know, staying where you're at, making the best until the best, or looking for new financial investments. Think about what you've learned over time and recognize what's not meant for you. There's going to be certain points in the month where you're not in the mood, period, to work, to deal with people's BS or just to, um, to work as much as you often do. I feel like you could have a lot coming at you, which is a good sign for your business if you're running one, right? A lot of um, compliments, a lot of praise, some criticism, but a lot of clientele and customers coming forth. It could just feel a bit overwhelming at certain points, a lot on your shoulders, on your plate, uh, or just a lot of expectations at your job, but a need to prioritize your inner peace. As I did see that card, um, I think twice, when shuffling for you from the Soul's Journey deck. I need to recognize when things are feeling more colorful throughout the month and therefore wrap oneself up with more of that or just recognize what you did before that or throughout that day or even previous to that to make oneself feel more colorful in the process of creating, developing, getting to that victory, success, and just making money all the meanwhile. Your world's changing and it may feel like a rapid achievement, a rapid process at this point. If things were feeling slow paced in uh, April, in the previous months, don't be surprised if it's a month where things feel quite rapid, fast paced. It's, if anybody can keep up with it, it's you. But you just, again, as they're putting my hand on the Knight of Swords, desire that movement, that travel, wanting to hop in your chariot and do what's right for you. But at times feeling the need to, or having to be mature and responsible, and just do what you have to do, which makes you feel like things are a bit stagnant communication feeling quite rapid in the process of your world developing, getting a lot of offers for work if that's what you're desiring, getting a lot of communication in regards to your business 
or even a lot of communication which is helping you make money at your job well whatever your situation is you're going to find that things are feeling quite full circle or just being reminded completion is a must in one way shape or form and allowing for you to be one with the elevating feeling that comes over you as you feel uh, you just kind of float through certain obligations certain fulfillments um, just doing what you have to do you may find that you work a job or run a business where it feels redundant or you just feel like you can almost do it in your sleep right um, you feeling as if you just want to freshen things up even if you're not going to switch it up altogether but there's a need to recognize where your wishes lie you know what do you actually desire but keep the hope alive all the meanwhile as i feel as if at certain points spirit may push you or you might just find that certain moments remind you um, even work that you're developing reminds you of past uh, disappointments when it comes to investments or when it comes to work it's purposeful okay there's something to learn to gain as you will feel as if you're a bit overworked throughout the month i'm not surprised to see this or you may feel as if your your job or your business or both sort of uh, feels more in control of you than you are of it okay something to learn to gain moving forward or just to recognize where you want to switch it up feeling as if you're waiting for a ship to come in you could be waiting for an approval or just a, a lump sum of money I feel as if that's coming in in the next few months. I need to keep that faith alive, that hope alive in the midst of that patience being so key for oneself. Reground yourself. Take a peaceful, ah, uh, I'm royal esque, you know, I'm, uh, I got it going on kind of vibe. And just don't get stressed over money. Take a peaceful approach as I feel it's consistently flowing in. Uh, may not be as much as you want in a lump sum. But I feel as if throughout the month of May in general, the month uh, the money is trickling in as you desire. Um, obviously, some more than others. But I just feel like there's certain points of the month where you need to trust your intuition, and it will leave you ten times less stressed. Period. Okay. And you're going to find that the process of acquiring what you need to, changing things up, keeping things fresh, and making the money you need to, feels more peaceful when you implement certain self-care strategies to feel at ease okay going with the flow knowing again a ship's coming in for you if not multiple that's meant for you and only you to breathe and be a example setter is what i'm getting um to show people that you can go after what you deserve and be peaceful all the meanwhile you know being pushed to recognize and remember that yeah, you're a bit depleted but you are a leader at heart, you know, even if you don't choose to be in a leadership position, people look to you as an example in one way, shape or form. So don't forget that as eyes are peeled on you to a certain extent, okay? As people see you as somebody who um, can potentially do no wrong, right? As there are a lot of reasons to celebrate with the four of wands, things start to fall into place and they're saying music is key for you at certain points. With the high priestess and the chariot being pushed to recognize that you're getting certain uh, downloads clarification on the past your present and where you're heading uh, even if you don't have full uh, vision a full vision right clarity uh, maybe being a little bit foggy on where you're about to head in the upcoming months things will become more clear you don't have to figure it all out in order to move forward but you also don't have to figure it all out throughout this month okay preparation is key is what they're saying as you'll understand more of the success you're meant to achieve, the balanced success and victory you're meant to achieve as you lead yourself and others to where you want to go. Bear with me as I just oddly in a forceful manner pulled out the Seven of Pentacles from the top, being pushed to recognize that you're watering uh, what is going to be successful moving forward, even if that's a financial investment. I feel like some of you are helping people uh, relentlessly is what I'm getting. And therefore it's making you money being pushed to recognize that you're getting a taste of justice in this month that you're meant to achieve more so of moving forward to balance things out for yourself and do a little bit of reflecting in the midst of it all but no, don't overdo it right see where things need to improve but be proud of oneself as the wheel turns for you in a lot of ways in a lot of ways people seeing you as somebody who just has more patience than you normally do okay and that's beautiful that's going to help you
feel uh, better about where you're at feeling like when you're overly stressed it's hard to even gather one's thoughts to to focus on or even notice these successful moments you're having right just things feeling so fast-paced and like a whirlwind in your mind as i'm drawn back to the happiness card but feel happy balanced and in the moment throughout this month as it is very hard not to focus on the past and your future the nine of swords recognize this certain parts of the month where you're feeling a little bit stressed okay do prioritize your sleep i feel the need to say you may feel as if you don't need to feeling a bit blinded to the future or you may be dealing with a noisy environment whether that's work at home or both but recognize that overthinking about your future where you want to go or just trying to figure it out to that extent isn't going to help you get there okay it'll just make you feel overwhelmed all the meanwhile you could even find that you're dreaming about your future and or your past all right thinking a lot about what you want to cut out and how to get there personally uh being pushed interesting pushing oneself to better your habits when it comes to spending money when it comes to saving when it comes to how to feel healthier in the midst of working but to stand confident proud and recognize and remember you're a true uh true fire sign you may have earth in your chart heavy earth but i just feel like you're being reminded of your inner strength and how much you desire to get to a level of success and victory that is yours for the taking to say the very least as you're pushed to be uh, viewing oneself as a leader in one way shape or form or in all ways right as i'm drawn back to the overall message you're beyond impressive uh to say the very least as people see you leading oneself and potentially other people to all of that victory and success wow let's uh pull a small making magic card or two for aries perseverance the motivation to keep going despite the odds perseverance they're saying you keep going you hear me giving you a bit of a pep talk time to shine create the energetic resonance for golden opportunities beautiful absolutely given so many opportunities to shine and bask in that attention right that leadership quality of you just um, being exuded for all to see self-confidence i'm not surprised remember i was checking myself out at the beginning being pushed to just embody that confident way of being and recognize that that's part of your way of getting to where you want to go right it it comes through in your work to say the least apricadapper with wings we're going to end on this one fantastic good fortune and lucky chances boom fly towards where you deserve okay so i hope this was truly helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already go have yourself an amazing month and i'll definitely see you next time bye aries